Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the steering wheel mounted cruise control switches on this 2005 Ford F-150. It's the same part and similar process on these F-150s from 2004 to 2009. And the items you'll need is a new cruise control switches from 1AAuto.com, 8mm socket and ratchet, 8mm wrench, a pick, and a flat blade screwdriver. Loosen up your battery cables with an 8mm socket and ratchet. And just pull them free. And if it's hard to get it off, use a flat blade screwdriver to just separate the clamp a little bit and it should pull free. Now down here, underneath your glove box, pull out on this panel, then using a flat blade screwdriver, pry down on the tab, and pull that panel off, and then use your fuse puller, and you may need to pry it out. And then on this row of fuses right here with the red and the blue, you want to pull out this red 10, it's the third one in on this row, just under that relay. And that's to disarm your airbag. And now just pry out on this little panel here. And there's a bolt inside of here that is eight millimeters. Just go ahead and remove that. Once you've removed that bolt and the one in the same spot on the other side, you can just pull this forward. Pry out on the red safety tab and then reach in behind and push down on the holding tab and pull the harness out. And now using a pick, just pry out the gray clip on this harness. And then pry out on the tab at the top and pull the harness free. Now carefully set this aside, push in on the tab and pull the harness free and then do the same thing to the harness on the back of this switch. And both of these switches are held in with two 8mm nuts so using an 8mm wrench just loosen those up and remove them. Now pull them both free. And if you want to replace the harness as well, to do that you can just push this tab up here and pull that free. And then there's a series of clips that hold the harness into place. You just want to pry out on the clip and pull the harness out of it. And you want to do this for each of those clips. And for this one it's easiest if you just come through here. And once you've released them all, the harness will just pull free. On the right is the old cruise control switches, on the left are the new ones from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. Now if you've replaced the harness, this just feed it back up through. And through. Turn the... And once you get it for the most part back in place, you can start re-clipping the harness. And again, to do that, you just pry open the clips and tuck the harness back behind it. Then reconnect the harness. And take your new switches and push them into place. And reconnect the harnesses to the back of them. And now you can replace those two 8mm nuts and tighten them up. And then you want to repeat this entire process on the other side.
make sure your steering wheel's straight, and then take your airbag and horn assembly, reconnect this lower harness, and then push that gray clip back in, and then take this harness and push it back into place, and push that red clip in to lock it. And once you get the airbag lined up, you can replace the 8mm bolt on either side. And we'll fast forward as Mike does that. And once you've replaced the bolts, make sure you replace those two covers as well. Now push your fuse back into place. Put the fuse panel cover back on, making sure your fuse puller is back in there. and just put these tabs into those slots and close the panel. Reconnect your battery cables and tighten up those eight millimeter bolts. And then just put this cover back down and you're all set. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.